the organizers of the Miss Sip pageant insist that the supposed exclusion of black pageant title holders who were crowned pre-democracy from Sunday's Miss South Africa 60th anniversary celebration was not a deliberate snub. Instead, they say, it's a case of branding and archive challenges. On Sunday, Tamarin Green, a 23-year-old medical student, took home the crown during the pageant's diamond jubilee at Sun City. Winners from pageants other than Miss Sa, notably, were not considered for the 60th anniversary. Maybe it's a lot to ask, but it would have been so amazing to see the women who could not be Miss Sa because of apartheid being honored. The ones who were crowned Miss Africa South. Hashtag Cynthia Shange Hashtag Pearl Jansen Hashtag Miss Sa 2018 Pick.twitter.com Slash DSP Schwinge Speaking to HuffPost, events executive at the MISA office, Gareth Flusk, said the main reason for this was brand differentiation. The MISA brand under Sun International is different from the Miss Africa South and Miss Black South Africa brands, in fact, they were owned and managed by different organizations. So last night we simply celebrated the MISA title. Flusk said the organization understands why South Africans may perceive this as exclusion, but explained that they could only reflect on the history of the specific Miss Sa brand as it stands. The differing recognition of titles is something former Miss Black Sa, Cynthia Shang A also alluded to. I was with Miss Africa South and not Miss Sa, maybe they take it as a different title, she told Times Live adding that she wasn't invited to the 2018 pageant. Beautiful reminder of a trailblazer hashtag Cynthia Shangi as the country selects a new hashtag Miss 2018. She rocked. The hashtag apartheid regime used to send two girls to the hashtag Miss World pageant, the black girl was called, hashtag Miss Africa South and the white one was called, hashtag Miss South Africa. Absurd times. Some South Africans on Twitter were not happy about the lack of recognition of past beauty queens. Especially as it wasn't by choice to be part of Africa South but by virtue of apartheid policies. For a black woman, for black people, winning Miss Africa South was as significant and closest to winning Miss A. Would have been a gracious gesture to include all. Missed opportunity. I skipped Miss South Africa tonight because there's another side to this 60-year-old history and a range of queens who weren't represented on that stage today. South Africa due to apartheid hosted Miss South Africa and Miss Africa South. Hashtag Miss 2018 Hashtag Miss Africa South. Flusk acknowledged the country's unjust history, which caused the pageant to neither be inclusive or representative of the demographic of the country but stated that the organization is not intent on erasing that part of history. In fact, he told HuffPost, the MISSA organization is now taking a step forward in being inclusive and is currently working on collating data from all South African pageant holders outside of the MISSA brand, a task he said was almost impossible, owing to challenges with archiving of this data. There's a part of history where very little is written, and we are working on that. Asked why the organization did not embark on this task prior to the Diamond Jubilee celebration of the pageant on Sunday, he said the job was admin intensive. Historical inaccuracies go back to the Miss Sa brand in the 50s, when Adele Kruger won the title, so to find other organizations details will take time. He said that as soon as this job is done, they would ensure that this history is reflected in all the Miss Sa celebrations moving forward.